Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you this really beautiful hairstyle and it's this half up, half down Dutch braided crown. I absolutely love the appearance of this hairstyle, that big chunky braid. You guys know how much I love those. This hairstyle is just very unique and the best thing about it is it's really simple to do. So let's get started. For this hairstyle, I will be using two hair elastics, a bunch of bobby pins, of course, and a hair clip just to help hold my sections for me. For this hair tutorial, we're going to be creating two Dutch braids. So you just want to part your hair as normal and then pick a side to start on. I'm going to start on my left side so what you want to do is bring your finger up to your part about an inch back from your face and you're just going to draw a line straight down so once you have this section what you can do is pull out any front pieces to frame your face and I like to leave a little bit of hair just to cover my ear to give me more of a boho appearance because I part my hair on the side, this braid is going to be so much larger than this one, so I'm just going to sneak in a one clip weft. Once you have your section, you just want to divide it horizontally into three equal sections. Once you have your three sections, we're just going to start the braid just to create a foundation for the hairstyle. So a Dutch braid is the same as a three strand braid, except you're going to be going underneath the middle. So I'm just going to do one full pass through, so I'm going to take that bottom section go underneath the middle section, and then take the top section, go underneath the middle, and I'm just going to go one more time from the bottom and underneath that middle section. And now we're ready to start Dutch braiding. Since we're creating a Dutch braid, this means you want to add in additional hair as you braid, but we're only going to be adding hair into the top piece, not the bottom. So grab about a one inch piece of hair from above the braid and join it into the top section. Once it's joined in, complete one full braid. So bring it down and underneath the middle and then bring the bottom section up and underneath the middle without adding hair. Since this is a crown braid, make sure that you are directing your braid horizontally to the back of your head. So once you've done the braid one through, it's time to grab another one inch section above the braid and join it into that top section. Once it's joined in, bring it down underneath the middle and then bring that bottom section up and underneath the middle without adding any hair. So as you can see, the braid is forming, but as you near the back of your head, you'll need to reposition your hands. Usually I'd cut this bit out, but I thought that it may be helpful to show you how I rearrange everything. So I'm going to hold my three sections in my left hand so that I'm able to bring my right hand from in front of me and put it behind my head. Most important, remember where you are in your braid before you reposition your hands. So I'm at the step where I'm about to add hair to the top section. So once you're situated, continue the pattern. Grab a one inch section and then add it to that top piece and complete one full braid. And then repeat until you've reached the middle of the back of your head. Once you've reached the middle, just continue doing a three strand braid halfway down the section to give us a little wiggle room for later and then secure it off with a hair clip. I actually think that this hairstyle looks pretty cute just like this, but I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same steps on this side. Same idea, draw a line about an inch back from your face, or in my case, my bangs, and down to your ear. With this section, divide it horizontally into three equal pieces, and you want to divide it horizontally since we are directing the braid towards the back of our head. Complete one full pass of a three-strand braid, remembering to go underneath the middle section so that it becomes a Dutch braid. Once you've created your foundation, grab about a one-inch piece and add it into that top section as your Dutch braiding. So these are the same steps as a traditional Dutch braid, except we're not adding any additional hair to that bottom section as we're moving along. So I'm just continuing this pattern until I reach the back of my head. Remembering to direct the braid backwards so that it sits flat against your head. And once you've reached the middle back of your head, continue the restrain braiding a couple more times down this section. Then clip the two braids together so that we can start pancaking them and making them nice and big and voluminous. 
I just go in with my index finger and thumb and begin gently pulling on the outside of the braids while anchoring the bottom with my other hand. And I recommend only pulling a little bit at a time and slowly making the braids larger since it's easier to make them bigger as opposed to going back and trying to make them smaller. But it's a Dutch braid so it's strong, it's quite forgiving, so don't be afraid to really pull on those braids to make them as big as you want. Once you're happy with your Dutch braids, you just want to secure them with a hair elastic. So I'm just securing them about an inch or two down from the Dutch braid, and then I'm just unbraiding any hair that's below that elastic. Now to help create the appearance of a crown braid, I'm going to take my right braid and pull it through that left braid by pulling it in between the two sections of the braid. I promise it's really not as scary as it sounds. And then you'll want to secure the ends of your braids to your head with some bobby pins. Try your best to secure the ends underneath your braid so that they are hidden. When pinning, I find it most helpful to slide the bobby pins through the hair elastics. I like to use them to my advantage. They're great anchoring points. When pinning, try to create crosses with your bobby pins so that they stay nice and secure. I think I ended up using a total of 12 bobby pins in mine. And then I gently pulled on the hair at the crown of my head just to give it a little bit more volume. And finished up the look with some of my Garnier dry conditioner to help add shine and smooth away any frizz. So there you have it you guys. That's how you recreate this half up, half down, double dutch crown braid. I just love this hairstyle. I think that it's so soft and pretty and feminine and I think that's what makes it perfect for any special event this summer like prom, wedding showers, weddings, anything like that. You'll have to let me know if you recreate it and where you end up wearing it too. But I really hope that you found this video helpful, learned something new. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. But until then, thank you guys so much for all of the support and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.